Hello everybody, we're going to watch Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So the last episode we got some side quest items and we started the ice cavern, now we're going to finish the ice cavern. As well as start the trade quest, so... <clears throat> yeah, we're going to be doing a little bit here. A little bit, more like a lot. Oh wait, no, there's technically, no, there's three pieces of heart technically that we're going to be getting, because there's one in this dungeon too, believe it or not. Then I said, this room of the dungeon is completely optional. If you know where you want to go, if you know where if you know where to already know where to go and you don't want to do this, you don't have to. It's not like there's any penalty for not grabbing the heart piece or whatever for not grabbing the compass or anything. The, the dungeon map or the compass. There's no penalty for that. So But um Yeah, so we're going back to the main room now, the middle room. And there's ice walls that we're gonna burn down with our that we're gonna burn that we're gonna deal with with our ice. So we're gonna do one right here. I don't know if this is it or not. Yeah, this is it. Okay. So we're gonna run here. Run around here. I'm just gonna. Run around circle until all this is fallen. All right, so now since there, there's just there's going to be just only be sculpt, there's only going to be like some some keys that are not moving in here, and those should be easy to take out. So as long as you don't activate them, they won't cause you any harm. So there's one. Oh, God damn it. And so what I'm gonna do is use this. So you target the other one. Step over here. Okay. There. Now, so there's blue fire right here. Now this this is completely this is this room is also completely optional. You don't have to come here. Pretty much these two rooms are optional. You don't have to come here. But pretty much, trying to think of it, any of the uh, rooms that have the compass or the uh, map in are optional. You really don't have to get them unless you never played the game before or you're play aiming for 100. percent I'm not aiming for 100 percent exactly. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I decided I am doing 100. percent So before the final episode, already, as I said, um, there'll be a montage with the final two episodes. There'll be a montage with me getting all the skulltalas. Um, I'll look up a guide and get them as I go. On second thought, second thought, I really don't want to do that because getting a hundred skull toys takes a long time because you also have to know where they're all, all of them are too. So speaking of skull toys, there's one right here, and we got ourselves another token. Okay, so now we're here. We got our fourth heart piece. We have another heart container. We are now at 14 hearts. Let's go ahead and do this. I really like this level because it's ice themed, and since since I love ice, hence why my again why my OC is ice. I love ice themed levels. I really do. Looks so amazing. Ow. Douche. Okay. Um. Let's go over here. And burn this one down. And we don't need any more blue fire because we are so because we're done with it. So there's like one more place where I have to use blue fire, and that's it. Now there's actually a ROM hack that you start in the dungeon like this. Um. Kill that one. 
I was gonna kill these guys, or I was gonna cause me a bunch of trouble, so. And he's dead. Alright. There's really not much to do in this room. Um, <clears throat> the main objective of this room is you're supposed to um, pick up Ruthie's rupees. Alright, that didn't work. But um, there's all, oh yeah, there's gold on the wall over here. So don't make sure you don't make sure you don't miss it. You know, we need we need, sorry we need blue fire two more times in this area. I forgot about that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, kill this guy on the wall. I'll just do this. All right, so we got ourselves another um, token. That's awesome. I need to adjust my chair. Sorry about this, people. The chair is like got turned all the way around to the other way, so I was like sitting in where the seat should be, or where the back should be, and yeah. There we go. Much better. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna push this to the left. I'm sorry, to the right. To the right. This is an easy puzzle, so the main objective is to just collect all these, these white rupees, so... There'll be a few more puzzles like this in the d dungeon, so. Alright, so once you're done getting that one, just push the block off the edge. Somehow, another block magically spawns. I won't question Zelda logic. Zelda logic. Zelda logic. It's Zelda logic. They can do whatever the fuck they want with it, so. Hey, if they want to make you be able to use fire underwater, then you can use fire underwater. I mean, why not? Mario does it. So, why not, why not Zelda? Hey, there we go. There we go. Sorry for yawning. It's just myself is being. I'm just getting tired. I'm just actually getting tired. So. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is push this block to the left. Then we're gonna push it upwards. I'm not gonna get those rupees, I don't think. I think we're just gonna leave them behind because there's no need for them. So now we're gonna do this. I'm gonna come over here, grab another one more thing of blue fire. Ah oh, crap, I really want it though, so I'm gonna do it. Um, so the way you do this, you just push this in. And then unlocks the door, so now we can continue on. But first of all, this I'm gonna place all my empty bottles now with my work arena because there's no need for it now. So let's go and equip this to the bottom slot. Then equip my orc arena to the side slot. All right, and the place on time. There we go. That's up here. There's twenty. There's sixty rupees. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna push this um, over there. Now we got our last thing of blue fire. And all we have to do now that. And now we can move on to what we, to the to the final area. 
You may not look like it, but you can actually make this jump. It's not that hard to do. Ow. Alright, so now... What I like to do is I like to stand in the middle of both of them. All three of them. And then do it like this. So you're gonna drop the blue fire right here. Make sure you still have make sure you still have one Nintendo Blue Fire for the Zora King. Get a heart. Whoop de doo. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and just re equip my items as they were. Alrighty. Oh no, White Wolfos. Jump attack. Yeah, that's all. That's the about the, the bosses of this area. Now, I would have liked it better if they did an actual boss, maybe. Would have been much better. I think they should have done. A, I really think they should have done a uh, thing. But in this chest, we got the dungeon item, which is the Iron Boots. So heavy you can't run. So heavy you can't float. Oh, I'm not looking, I'm not looking forward to the next dungeon. For two reasons. One, because you have to use those, these these iron boots we got a lot, and you have to pause just to put them on. We meet again, Link. You came here with the Zoras. You wasted your time. This is all there is. One exception of the Zoras are now one exception. The, with one exception, the Zoras are sealed now. Now are sealed are now sealed under this thick ice sheet. <clears throat> I managed to rescue the Zora Princess from under the ice, but she left to head for the Water Temple. This ice was cre is created by an evil curse. The monster in the water the inside in the Water Temple is the source of the curse. Unless you shut that off that source, this ice will never melt. If you have courage enough to comfort the dangers, comfort comfort. Confront, not confront, confront the danger and save the Zoras. I will teach you the melody that leads to the temple. Time passes. People move like a river's flow. It never ends. A childish smile will soon turn into a noble, amb amb noble ambition. Young love, will become, young love will become deep, deep affection. The, frecks, the, reflects, the clear water surface reflects gloth. Gloth? The clear water surface reflects refract. <laughs> the clear water surface reflects growth. Now listen to the serenade of water, to the reflection upon yourself, to reflect upon yourself. You have learned the serenade of water. <clears throat> Link, I'll see you again. Okay. Get her, Link! Get him, Link! Oh, wow, I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alright, so, yeah. So, there we go. But we will not be going to the Water Temple at this point uh, this point in time because we are going to be doing a trade quest. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get our iron boots on so we can get out of this place. 
and then we'll go to the next area, the next, next location where the next strike, the next part of the quest is, is supposed to take place. So we're gonna do this, drop in the water. If you stay in the water too long, Navi will say, "Yeah, you can't breathe underwater. Take the boots, take off those boots." All right, so there we go. All right, so let's get out of this place and go get our uh, go get our award for free for getting for, go get our next thing we need to get first. And we'll be getting the heart piece, and then after we get the heart piece, I will be going to the next part of the trade quest. So, let's well, complete the trade quest in this episode. So, well, in the next episode rather. I saw I had three episodes um, a week. So. <sighs> <laughs> so I'll choose one day of the week to I'll choose one one th one a week to um one day a week to record three episodes because well it'll be on days when my grandma's at work, so that way I don't have to worry about, you know, getting erupted or anything like that, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and get our our bottle equipped. The last thing of blue fire in it. Oh, and be sure you don't miss! Otherwise you have to go back and do it again, which I've missed before and I had to go back and do it again, so. And that's not fun, believe me. Alright, so let's go over here. Is it close enough? Yeah, okay. So pull out the fire. I like how like hand, like hand just goes through the ice. There we go. Na 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 na. We need to do something good. So let's go ahead and stand up here. Do you target the king? Oh, I've come back to life. Was it you who saved me? Don't be nervous. It looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. Well, I'm not exactly a Zora, so yeah. <clears throat> An expression of my gratitude, I'll grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. You got the Zora's tunic! This diving, salt, this diving suit is adult size. With th It won't fit a kid, so it won't fit a kid. Wear it, and you won't drown underwater. So let's go ahead and switch to that, because we're going to need it. To get this heart piece that we're going to be getting here. Yay, I got blue. I got blue wall. I got a blue tunic. Looks looks amazing. I like it. Alright, so we're going to go back to the area where we found the ice. Um... All right, so we're going back to where we found the ice. So yeah, we've done very much everything we can do here, but we will go back to the Temple of Time. So that way, I, uh, we will warp to Kokiri Forest, for so that way I can do shit. So. I'm not sure if I'm missing heart containers or not. Um, if I am, I'll go back and get them later. But yeah, because at least this this will be at least a hundred an all heart run. So I'm getting every single heart since I know where every single heart is, kind of, but not but not really. I don't really remember exactly to be honest. But um, yeah. See now we're underwater. We won't drown. It's awesome. However, the downside of that to being underwater is the only thing you can use underwater is your hook shot. You cannot use your sword. You cannot use your bombs. You cannot use your you can't use your ocarina, you can't use any of that. So unfortunately for us to warp, where I want to warp, we're going to have to go back to the surface. Which only takes a long time to get back up to the top. I get used to seeing that, me switching back and forth between boots. Because that's going to be in the next, that's going to be a lot in the next temple.
What am I doing? Whatever. So after we get done with this, before we go to that, uh, the next area, I'm going to be doing um, the fishing hole again because there's another item we can get with adult link. So. And that item will help us get a piece of heart, actually. Which we do need, which we do need, so. Alright, okay, so now that we're in here, let's go ahead and warp to Kokiri Forest. Go ahead and go, let's go ahead and go ahead to Kokiri Forest, or the Lost Woods, rather. Man, go away. No one likes you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, so, um. He dropped 15 rupees. Whoop de doo. Joe, that's totally a lot of rupees. Alright, so there we go. Let's go ahead and run across here. You can actually see these guys, you don't have to worry about them though, because they won't attack you unless you land in front of them, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and leave Sacred Meadow Grove. Sacred, sacred Meadow. I'm going to get lost on purpose. Go back in. And remember we found the skull cave, we're going that direction. Let's go and equip our um Let's go and equip Kohiro. And we're going to pull out the other thing in front of him. Kohiro! Why? Normally a nice guy like you can... Normally only, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means... You, you must be a nice per guy. Must be, must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag at the potion shop. Kukiri and Kakariko. This will disappear if you take too long, so, so you gotta hurry. You got an odd mushroom. This is sure to, this is sure to, like, this is sure to spoil. Quickly, take it to the Cat Creek Potion Shop quickly. All right, so we're gonna head that direction. Now, you must be wondering, Rhaegar, why aren't you just warping? Well, warping is not permitted. You have to do this mainly of skill and walking. And if you warp, it will go bad automatically. So, which I don't know why, it's just that, that should be quicker. I guess they just didn't want you to cheat the system. So, like, alright, we're going to go ahead and do this. If they try to warp, we will if they try to warp, they, it, will, it will spoil quickly. Because apparently it takes longer to spoil than it does to get be to get better. So let's go through here. And the opponent is still waiting outside here for us. 
Because we never removed her from this spot, because this is where we just rode her to the Kakuga Village, so. Now we have to hurry, because we don't have much time to do this in. So, yeah. If you use, um, not, if you use, a uh, opponent, though, you should be good, because she can travel fields quickly, so. I think she travels the fa really fast, so. This quest is very important, and t in order to get a very good item we want, I wanted to get. And I'm running low on arrows, so before we go to the next area, I might go buy some arrows from the, from the bazaar, I think. Because I need more arrows, I'm almost out of arrows. So yeah, anyway, so we made it to Kakariko, Kakariko, you still, we still have 1 minute 58 seconds to spare, I'm pretty sure we're good, so. Let's go ahead and just go up here. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way up those stairs. Now, this next thing she's going to give us, you can warp, but I'm going to just go on foot because it's much easier. Let's go over here. We're going to head to this potion shop right here. It's not the right one. This is the potion shop. Uh, it's not going to do you any good right now. If you try to do anything in it, you can buy potions, but it I think potions are useless unless you're going to, unless you're like a Master Quest edition. If, if you're on Master Quest, I would definitely recommend getting potions, but we're not on Master Quest, so. Ta ta. Snare. What a mysterious smell. You must have something. Yes, I have this. I said I have this. Thank you. Step bomb, he got him step bomb, he got himself into he had he had gone into the forest, I see. Hey, right, give it the, give it to me now. You see that fool gave this to him. It's the strongest medicine ever I I I have ever produced. However, this won't work. On, this potion will not work on a monster. All right, so we got ourselves the yeah, potion. Whoop de do. You don't know what's going on between that lady and the guy, but take it thus to the lost woods. They say that there's no no medicine that can cure a fool. Guess that's true. All right. And unfortunately, that's the only type of dialogue we're going to get from her in this in this Let's Play. Because she's useless. I mean, unless you give her a potion to brew for you, I'm not sure. I think if you give her a potion that you already have, she can make it stronger. I'm not sure, though. I'm not sure how that works. But, yeah. We gotta, we gotta talk to Bazaar. We're gonna go to here, Bazaar. <clears throat> yes, I know. I'm gonna get the 30 arrow bundle. Alright, so now you got full, full arrows again. Alright, so let's head out and make our way back to Kiri Forest. Because we need to go give this medicine to that guy. So, because if because because she said to give this message to that guy. So, yeah. All right. So let's go ahead here. Get on, Pona. Link. Get on, Pony. Thank you, Pona. Alright, so we got our opponent. Let's go ahead and make our way back to Kokiri Village. 
the Kukri Forest. Because the Kukri Forest... Really? What are you doing, you stupid horse? Apparently she thought it was running into a fence. I have no idea why. The hitbox on these things are terrible. This makes getting this makes traveling quicker, so you don't have to worry about um, much. I'm only really probably gonna use her for this game, for this one, and then a little mini game we're gonna play later. But that's it. You have to play that mini game for heart piece. I just hope I can get the amount of points I need without screwing up too many times. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to end this episode, up here, episode off here. Thank you all for watching this episode of Let's Play. Let's let Ocarina of Time. In the next episode, we will finish the rest of the trade quest. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to help my channel grow, please subscribe to it. And also make sure, make sure you leave your positive or negative comments on the screen. 100, saying, gain 20% cooler. Signing off. Peace out.